All right, everyone. Well, today I'll be showing you how to block DNS queries in Linux using the etc slash hosts file. So if you don't know what DNS is, it refers to a method called domain name system that when you type in a memorable website name in your browser, your computer goes off and gets the IP address for the system that it's meant to connect to. Because computers work on numbers and we work on memorable terms, it's a lot easier for us to remember a word rather than a number. The doing blocking for the hosts file isn't exactly 100% reliable that you're going to block that website. I'll show you a bit more of why in a moment. But the reasons you might want to do it are to block, say, a malicious website being accessed from your computer or even any data being transferred back to your operating system, say the crash protection program in Ubuntu that's called Whoopsie Daisy, sends data to daisy.ubuntu.com, well you could block that name lookup and your computer will no longer be able to send data to Canonical. So it's not just the browser you're blocking, it's any tool on your computer. And it's not a specific browser either, so you could just put block it for one website and host file, and any browser, any browser that you use won't be able to get to that website. So I'm going to block canonical.com. There's a good reason I've chosen this. So, so if you open up terminal, before we begin, I'm going to take a backup copy of the file, type in sudo cp slash etc slash hosts space slash etc slash hosts dot, and I'm calling it old. Then using your favorite text editor, I know you can use sudo nano slash etc slash hosts. If you want to use a GUI text editor, then sudo dash capital H. You could use like gedit, but because I'm using a KDE based distro, sudo dash H kate slash etc slash hosts. Then at the end of the file, type in 127.0.0.1 tab and the website you want to block. In this case, canonical.com. Save and close the file. Let's go back to my web browser. Ah, and I see it hasn't blocked. Now, why would that be? Is it because it's a www? Sometimes it needs it and sometimes it doesn't. Now you'll see blocking via this method is very fussy. Let's do a control F5 and you'll see that I'm no longer able to access the web page. But it doesn't completely block canonical.com because if I now go to blog.canonical.com, no, it works. So any subdomain can still be accessed. If you want to block all those, it gets a bit of a faff because now you've got to add everything in. There you go. As I mentioned, you've got the crash protection program for Ubuntu where it can transmit data. You can sinkhole that. So if I try ping daisy.ubuntu.com. Ah, now, while it does work, you'll notice the IP address is 127.0.0.1. Localhost, as in yourself, so it would ping back. But that's not the true IP of the server. And you'll notice I'm accessing it via the terminal, so it shows that the hosts file does block everything on your system. So there you go, that's one method of blocking websites in Ubuntu. The method I use with using OpenDNS, it's less fussy on the domain name. If I wanted to block canonical, all I'd have to type in is just canonical.com. It wouldn't matter what subdomain I was trying to access. It's a little bit cleaner than trying to block through the hosts file, but of course it costs using OpenDNS. But if you're after blocking a couple of specific websites, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this method. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.